this episode, we leave the beaches behind and head towards a small farming community near Paquera for a local tour curated by one of our favorite guides. As we made our way onto the dusty roads towards San Rafael, we visited a dairy farm where we learned the process of making cheese from beginning to end before having a typical Tico breakfast. Following our second breakfast, we mounted horses and headed off in search for a hidden waterfall deep into the jungle. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button. Now, let's get into the adventure. Woo, good morning, good morning, good morning. Bienvenidos a todos. We are back at it. It is early on Saturday morning, June 19th, Juneteenth. Uh, a little moment of silence. For all the freedoms and liberties that uh, the sacrifices of those made before us. In order for us to have our freedom so we could do this kind of adventure thing. So we are heading to Paquera today for an action-packed adventure. Are we hyped this morning? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm hype. Yeah, you look so hype. Yeah, we hype? Yes. Are we hype? Yes. And again, we are right on schedule at 7 o'clock. The bus is leaving the station at 7 o'clock. Case is ready to go. Gigi's ready to go. Coco's ready to go. And mommy's almost ready to go. Let's do this. All right, we just dropped off the dogs at Robert's sister's house, and uh, there's some goyos. We got some chickens over here, so gallinas. And that should be interesting to see how the dogs fare today. Coco was very interested and was chasing them all over the yard. So unsuccessful thus far. All the chickens were hiding. The roosters were hiding. But we'll see, hopefully we don't come back and she hasn't scored a prize. But got them on the leashes. Not happy about that, but. Now we are off to the finca. de la Fe, so this is the actual dairy farm uh, where they do, where they milk the cows. And we're gonna be doing a little bit of a, a milk tour. Wow, hola. Pura vida. Pura vida. Pura vida. Pura vida. Pura vida. Pura vida. Oh my god. Ella llama la tres. 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 Creo que va a pasar a la escuela. Ok. Va a lograr. Pasar de grado. Muy bien, él. Dale, dale. We didn't get very much. Elías, he was a teacher in the high school. He's going to be our teacher today. And this is the first test that we are going to have. ¡Ah! ¡Ahora sí! Yeah, yeah. No, no, eh. No, eh. No, eh. Eh, te están ganando. Eh. Eh. 
Muy buena sí, sí. técnica. No sé, creo que todo es mi maestro, ¿no? Sí, buena técnica. ¿Qué es eso? ¡Qué buena! Uh, yeah. Le ganó, le ganó. Yo, lo siento, él, lo siento. ¿Por qué estás escondiendo, Kingston? Uh, no, yo lo sé. Dale. <risa> dale, para abajo, sí. Dale, dale, dale. Para abajo, así. Para abajo, vamos. Así. 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 Así, vamos, vamos, vamos. Sí, 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 pues. One time, just one time. Okay, uno, uno, dos, dos tres. Ah! Yeah. Three. 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 La comida favorita para ella es queso, todo queso. Sí. Oh, hey. Otro, otro. Good job, Más fuerte. Sí, más fuerte. Más fuerte. Sí, más fuerte. Kingston. Kingston. It's because it needs Dale. to be milked. Duro. Así con toda la mano. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Dale. Ah. Es que tiene, tiene, tiene. Oh. Dale duro. Ah. Brazo fuerte. Me pucha. Oh. Oh. Pues puta. What? ¿Qué es eso? 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 ¿Qué eso. Two hands, two hands. A la otra, sí, la otra. Vamos. Se puede. Por David, a lot of people. Maybe because Aquí se puede lavar las manos. Aquí se lava las manos. Ok, una gota por litro. Una gota por litro. Una gota. Ahí. Echamos acá. Y luego. Promovemos. Y esperamos 20 minutos. 20 minutos. 20 minutos. Y, ¿Y qué ocurre en 20 minutos? Ocurre, pienso que aquí. 20 minutos. Después de 20 minutos, eso está así. Venga, todos quieren probar. ¿Qué es esto? Que, qué bonito que es tocar. Venga. Venga. Otro. ¿Quién quiere sí. probarlo? No sé. ¿Quiere probarlo? No sé, no ¿Cómo se convierte la leche? Así. ¿Vio? Wow. Venga, a ver. Ajá, wow. sí. Hágale, hágale, hágale. Okay. Otra vez, duro, desde abajo. Ok, dale, dale. Bien, él. Escucha. Dale, 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 duro, fuerte. ¡Eso! 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 ¿Cómo se llama la señora de él? Margarita. No, nombre es Tico, Margarita. Margarita. Keila también, Keila es. Sí. Este, pero como... todavía más. Sí, Margarita. Margarita es un de nombre de pueblo, de pueblo. Yeah. Ok. Nadie me ha preguntado por qué le echa agua. Nadie. ¿Por qué no me preguntan? ¿Por qué agua? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué agua? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué agua? Ok. El agua. El agua. Ah, pues pucha. El agua. Pucha. Ah, pero no es malo, pues pucha. No. Ok. <risa> Ok, el agua 
lo que hace es levantar esto y el queso va para allá. Me interesa, me interesa que el queso vaya para allá. With the water, like the cheese is getting yo, Inmediatamente yo puedo sacar el queso. A ver. All this is cheese. ¿Lo ves? Muy fácil. Y son 5 minutos y el queso está listo. Yeah, you like that milking? No. No. Well, the second one felt better than the first one. It was bigger, huh? Yeah. That's why I was like, I couldn't get I my like, hand around it. I think the second one was bigger. Yeah. Your hands are smaller. Yeah, your hands are smaller. My hands are smaller. Yeah. Sorry, one, two, three. Okay. Tome, Margarita. Mm -hmm. Hay que ganarse la vida, Margarita. Uno, dos, tres. Ese y pasa allá. Muy bien, otra vez, ok. Una, dos, tres, pura vida, ok. Está bien, pásela. La última, otra más, y no más. No tenga miedo, no tenga miedo. Ok, ok, Margarita, nombre tipo. Probamos a ver cómo está la sal. Más Un poquito, un poquito. Pero no te cambió, Margarita. No te cambió. Tres. Perfecto. Tres son un kilo. Oh. Oh. Un kilo. Ok, lo ponemos acá. Ok. Una manta y otra. Eso, con un kilo es. Tres, échela ahí. Con mucho cuidado. Venga. Tres, uno. Ah, ponemos acá. Uh -huh. Ok. Dos minutos. Espere dos minutos. Okay. Wow. Ya tenemos el quesito acá. Uh -huh. Lo metemos acá. Yo, él, yo no tengo dinero para comprar una máquina al vacío. No tengo dinero. Pero inventé una. Acá, máquina al vacío. Máquina al vacío. Ajá. Ajá. Listo, al vacío. Máquina al vacío. Máquina con agua. Con inteligencia. Es <risa> más barato, sí. Más barato. Es más inteligente. Sí. Ok, si gusta. Mm. Sí, es muy bueno. Es muy, muy bueno. Un sabor muy rico. Sí, muy rico. Los secretos de la Coca-Cola. Muy rico. Eh... Tasha. 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 Toma. Vamos a ver si ahí la. Ajá, agarra eso. Eso, ok. Eso, ahí. De vuelta. Bien. Bien. Ajá. Perfecto. Escucha. Es bueno. ¿Estás hungry, guys? Sí. Ya casi. Gracias. Ustedes, muchas gracias por la ayuda. Muchas gracias por la lección. Desayuno. Desayuno. Okay. All right, so we just completed the first part of our tour here over at the finca. The cheese is delicious. Finished the cheese. Now we're gonna head over to the Casa de Elias so that we can have some frito, queso frito. We're gonna go over to his house before we ride horses and have some queso frito. It's desayuno. Listo. That's how they be doing it fancy. Just like when you're doing a wheelie on a motorcycle, they be doing some fancy moves on the horse like that. Okay, so now we have arrived in San Rafael, which is outside of Paquera, and we are going to Elias's farm so that we could actually use the cheese, get a 
make some food and then we're also going to go ahead and go on a little walk to a swimming hole and we're going to ride some horses out here. But because the road is kind of treacherous, we're all going to wait to take the quad to San Rafael. Why? Who gave you the bag? Why you give him the bag? You know he always drops stuff. He's like, hey, he's going to drop the cheese. He almost dropped it already. Over here trying to throw rocks. So free, so no? So, primera vez? Si? Oh, I can do that. Alright, we have arrived at Avaquero's house this way. Here in the mountains in San Rafael. We are going to have the desayuno typico de Costa Rica. Wow, hospitality is incredible. Look at this. Got the queso frito fired up in the kitchen. Coco gallo frito, cafe. Aguacate? Si? Me encanta. Alright, so we just had an amazing second breakfast, and now it is time to go ride the caballos. You ready for the horses? You good? Get you some sterile gloves. Yeah. Y'all ready? Yeah. Si! You look like a ranger. Time for a little paseo con los caballos. We all know this is not my favorite activity, on top of a horse. Muy tranquilo. The horse can feel your energy, so muy tranquilo. Look how high we are off the ground though. This is what makes me nervous. Okay. I could be on a motorcycle or anything, but this is really high. He's super little, that's why always gets a short horse. Does that mean you just gotta look at the individual strengths of your horse and you as a rider, see? Tu eres un vaquero hoy, see? <laughs> Stop for a little drinky drink. <laughs> this is not the river part of the tour. Kayla and I are holding up the back over here, making sure everything's okay. But we are heading into the remote area down here at San Rafael. I think we made it to the end of the road. Ultimo de la calle. And we're going into the forest. Look at our little vaquero. So we are about two and a half miles into the Costa Rican wilderness here uh, outside of San Rafael and we have arrived at Matambu Forest Privada. Matambu Forest Privada. I don't know what it is, but it's just a little oasis right out here in the middle of the Hongle. Uh, Kayla had the most stubborn horse of all, but wow. Muy, muy linda. Check out this waterfall. Keza and I are the first brave souls to make our way down to the waterfall. Matambu! Hi, hi, hi. Who is still dealing with this bathing suit? <laughs> nice save.
<laughs> what? <laughs> Feels so good. Hey, ah. What? Hey, mama. The secret waterfall. This is another hidden gem here. You know we love chasing waterfalls. Un nuevo lugar for todos every day. Every day a new place, a new experience. Let's see if we can get to this little waterfall. No jumping in there. How deep it is? What? So did you go and feel how deep it is? Yeah. Oh, look at that! Dragonfly is humping on you. So we just finished our little magical break here in the forest, the middle of the Hongle, nice, beautiful, clean running river. And now we gotta make our way the two and a half miles back, 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 back to San Rafael. You ready, King Boy? Yeah. Have fun? A good, good break? Buen descansar? See? Si? All right, so after about one and three quarter miles, we're getting back into the town, the Pueblo. Mommy's having her a good time. And Kayla's horse is bringing up the rear, just like it. Some things never change. This horse thing is kind of growing on me a little bit. I kind of like it. You think it's growing on Kingston too? Allergies aren't as bad. Look at that. That's what you call fast food. Banano. Now leaving the Casa de Yashua here on the mountains de San Rafael. Hola! Hola! Como estuvo el viaje? Si, sí, muy si, sí, todo bien, muy bien, gracias. Si, sí, regresamos. Si, sí, regresamos para un otro más tour. Maestro! Oh. Thanks again for watching this episode of the Free Range Squad. Now this particular tour is not something that you're gonna find on a website or in any tour guide. Robert, who is a local here from Paquera, was able to put this entire tour together based on some of the things that we love to do. One of the things that I loved about this tour was that it really pushed us out of our comfort zone. This also demonstrated another amazing thing about the Tico hospitality. Not only did they share their homes, they shared their food, and they shared their good spirits and sentiments. Following our first time having queso frito, we went off in search for a hidden waterfall, which was an amazing way to end our day. All in all, we had an incredible time and I would highly recommend working with Robert and going and doing some things that are off the beaten path. 
If it wasn't for the people that we met, we would not have ever found out about this amazing small community called San Rafael that is right here nestled on the peninsula. So if you're interested in doing a native tour like this one, go ahead and shoot me a message and I'll make sure I get you Robert's contact information. So thanks again for coming along with us on this journey. But until our next adventure, Pura Vida. Thank you.